Malleus Maleficurum, The Book of the Inquisition Today on Echoes Through Time Channel, we will talk about the Inquisition. During 1487, the most extensive and important manual for identifying, capturing, interrogating, and punishing those guilty of witchcraft, was published in Spire, Germany, the Malleus Maleficurum, the Hammer of Witches in Latin. This book was used for centuries as a genuine guide to recognize the signs that someone was engaged in witchcraft. The treatise detailed the methods by which witches supposedly obtained their powers and how they used them, explaining step by step how to identify witches and initiate a process for witchcraft. However, it contained a large amount of recycled material from demonology books, inquisitorial treaties, and even oral superstitions, such as witches' ability to fly mounted on brooms, the belief that cats are creatures of the devil, the idea that witches hold ceremonies in forests to invoke demons, or that they are responsible for epidemics or crop failures. The Hammer of Witches contains all kinds of descriptions of what a witch is like, how to identify her, and the most terrible acts they committed. Reviewing its pages, we can realize how certain criteria such as physical deformity, age or simply leading a secluded life from the rest were enough for one's own neighbors to accuse them of practicing witchcraft. Perhaps the most terrible thing about this work is that its main author, the German inquisitor Heinrich Kramer, justified and promoted physical torture towards women as a method to make them confess their dark acts and dealings with diabolical entities. Kramer had an ally, Jacob Sprenger, also a member of the Dominican Order, and an inquisitor of the Catholic Church. With the publication of the Malleus Maleficurum, the heyday of which hunting began, the processes intensified, and the condemnations became harsher, which previously used to be minor, such as paying a fine or being banished from the municipality. Another aspect in which this treatise changed the persecution of witchcraft was by directing it mainly towards women, whom the book described as especially prone to the devil's deceptions because they are more credulous, more inclined to malignity, and naturally more deceitful. Despite its widespread use, this book caused a great uproar among theologians, even among those who supported the persecution of witchcraft. The main reason was, that it contradicted in many aspects the official theses of the Church on Demonology and Witchcraft. Additionally, the book authorized and even encouraged the use of torture as a method to obtain information and confessions, a stance that many considered contrary to Christian values. Nevertheless, the Malleus Maleficurum had a profound impact on witch trials on the continent for the next 200 years. <laughs>